Oh, well, hey there, y'all. I don't know. Um, getting ready to go do some trout fishing at my local trout park. It's a stalker trout area. Don't want anybody thinking I'm doing it the hard way out here, catching wild trout or anything like that. Um, I live in the Ozarks of Missouri, and one of the coolest things about being in this area is the diversity of outdoor things that an old boy can do at any given time of the year. My concho will literally always be my name on these things. <laughs> I was digging around looking for my uh, polarized glasses and I still ain't found them, but I did find that little jewel. Unfortunately, I do not know which turkey this is anymore. I do not know where I harvested this bird. <sighs> Down south, he's got real short legs. It's not not my Osceola. So this bird came from either uh, <clears throat> Alabama or Mississippi. I see people talking on the uh, trout fishing page quite a bit about how overcrowded this place is. As is with any public land, if you want to use it, uh, and get it to yourself, you have to go when other people aren't there. Pretty straightforward shit. But anyway. Got one from the bleachers, son. Let's see if I can't get him up here. He's not that big. Woo. We'll let him go. We're going to try to Real champion diving. I think he made that. Yeah, he ain't gonna float or nothing. Sweet. In and out. Quick mission, bro. Another little guy, but I'll take that one. He's just fat enough. Mr. Bill Cooper's truck. Man, it's like death around here. Local legend, so they say. Any hoosers. Um, my battery's about to die, so I'm going to close this up. Kept a couple of them. Uh, I'm going to walk over here and get my external power and chit chat with you guys a little bit more. If you notice, know I only ever have two hooks normally on my stringer it's usually about all I need um I sorry I'm shaking a little bit I uh catch my own fish and then I eat them that night so I'm gonna go throw these on the skillet but uh I just wanted to uh address some things here that have been getting thrown around with the uh, Merrimack Spring Park I don't think a lot of folks realize that this place is privately owned so the funding that this place gets from the state of Missouri is significantly less than uh, the three other uh, trout parks in the state so that's worth noting um, complaints about how many fish are being thrown out y'all this is stalker stream so if you if you can't get it done here as a trout fisherman I think that says a little bit more about you than it does anybody else um and i'm not trying to be mean but when these people are coming down on the individuals that work and take care of this place it kind of kind of makes me take it personal i've worked here before and i know it's not an easy place to upkeep and there's never enough people to help it's a little frustrating to see the people that come down here and enjoy it 
um, complaining. Um, they want the grass mode. Some people want the grass mode up here. Um, that's just old school thinking and I'm not really going to even worry about catering to that because that's absurd. If you want wildlife to do good, you don't go cutting grass and uh, putting fescue every, everywhere. It's just senseless. So I ain't, I ain't gonna get into that. But uh, to the people that do come here and enjoy it and uh, respect it and respect the guys that work here, work hard, thank you. Um, I'm very proud of my community to do it on their own without being owned by anybody else. That's from Lucy Wortham James all the way to um, the guy cleaning the shitters. I don't care who it is. I appreciate them. Maybe you guys should too, a little more that are complaining.